Hi guys, and welcome to the second part of creating our scatter plots. And so what we're going to look at right now is actually plotting the data points that we're given and then drawing what we call a line of best fit or a best fit line. You can say it either way. Okay, so the first step is to just plot the points that we're given. All right, so remember that our carbohydrate is our X and our energy is our Y. So we're going to plot the apple point. We need to go to 15.25. And so we're going to find here on the x-axis about where that would be. So 15 is right in between um, 14 and 16. And, and we just kind of are approximating what that 0.25 is because we, we don't have a large enough space to really see that. So we're about here for 15.25. And then we're going to go up the, uh, the y-coordinates 59. So up here to just about 60. All right, and so our point's going to go right there. All right, same thing with the banana. So we're going to go to 23.43. So that's kind of just between 22 and 24. And then 92 is going to be way up here. It's going to be up here in between the 90 and the 95, a little closer to the 90. All right, so there we go. We've got two points, the apple and the banana. Next, the blueberries. So 14.13 is going to be just a little bit past the 14 here and then we're going to go up 56 so that's just a tiny bit past the 55 and we have a point right there 14.88 now this is really close to both the 15.25 and the 14.13 try when you're doing this to make sure that your dot is kind of in between these two uh, but for the purposes of you know putting dots on a screen it's going to be in, in line with one of them for the one we're looking at Okay, so it, we have 14.88 comma 61, so that's going to be just above here, all right? And then 15.11, again, we're really, really close to where we've been before, uh, and so it's 15.11 comma 59, so that's going to be down here a little bit. And then we have um, the much smaller value, so we have 7.02, which is basically 7, so that's going to be over here between 6 and 8 comma 30, which we said right now is is right there. Remember, we, we have a pretend little squiggly line over here showing that we've skipped a whole bunch. So we're going to put a dot right there. And then our very last data point in between the 16 and the 18, we go to 17, comma, 65, right on the line right there. All right, so now we've got our points. Notice that they're really spread out. This isn't, you know, nicely distributed data. And that's what happens when we do real life things is that the data isn't always going to look really nice. So what we need to do now is we need to draw a line of best fit is what we call it, okay? And so what that means is we need to draw a line that kind of approximates what this data is doing. And the way we want to do that is we want to make sure that they're the same number of points above the line as below it, okay? So you just kind of draw what you think it looks like. So let's go ahead and put something on here, alrighty? And now let's make sure that this will work. So they're kind of one, two, three points above that line, and one, two, three points below it, and then this one kind of is on the line. So we have three above, three below, and so this line, it works as a best fit line. Your line might look just a little bit different. Not everyone's gonna have exactly the same thing for these because it's all approximations. We can't do really exact measurements for these. All right, but here we have our data plotted, and an approximate line of best fits.